We want to take a closer look tonight at both Pakistani and American campaigns against the Taliban. For that, we're joined once again by Marvin Weinbaum, a former State Department analyst and now scholar in residence at the Middle East Institute in Washington. Professor Weinbaum, thanks for being with us. We saw this lengthy report tonight, and it was about how errant airstrikes have enraged many Afghans. How does this affect the approach by U.S. forces now in Helmand province? Well, this is really what it's all about. We're trying to bring in additional forces so that we'll have enough force on the ground that we won't be obliged to bring in air support as we have. One of the real problems is that when you bring in air support because of a lack of forces, what you do is you engage in rather indiscriminate bombings. Uh, this should at least help to avoid that outcome. And in a page that seems to be borrowed from Iraq, U.S. commanders are now saying that some Marines will stay in Afghan villages long after this military offensive ends. The significance of that is what? They're going to have to stay because the very heart of the counterinsurgency strategy is that you, after having cleared the area, you're prepared to embed yourself in the local community, not to work out of fire bases at some distance, but to stay in the community and to work with the local leadership to try to bring in as well in uh, civilian administration. And we're going to be working in that, in that capacity, I believe, with Afghan police and soldiers. And in both Pakistan and Afghanistan, the Taliban fighters have shown this ability to blend into the civilian population rather than engage in direct battle. So doesn't that make it difficult to defeat them? This is an enormously complicating factor because the very heart of counterinsurgency strategy is your ability to distinguish between the insurgents and the local population. That's been very difficult in Afghanistan and in some contrast with Iraq. And I want to bring in uh, a more focus on Pakistan for the moment. The army there says that it has really defeated the Taliban in the Swat Valley. Can it win the wider war against the Taliban throughout Pakistan? It really is not going to be able to declare any kind of victory until it's not only feels that it has cleared the area, but is able to allow enough security for the local population to return. Uh, one of the real problems now is that it may move on too quickly in its effort to clear uh, the insurgents out of the Waziristans and therefore not complete the job in SWAT. So in other words, that the Taliban could follow in after the Pakistani troops have pulled out to go fight them in another part of the country? Yes, they may fi fight them in another part of the country, but more likely what they are going to be doing, as they have demonstrated this, is their ability to fade into the countryside and to return when the army forces leave. What the Pakistan government hopes is that it's going to be able to put in the kind of police force in SWAT which would prevent that. Professor Marvin Weinbaum, thank you for speaking with us tonight. You're very welcome.